to Zoe Homes Park Living. I'm Rina. Today we are decorating with blue and white chinoiserie. This video has been in the making for months because in the early days of my YouTube um, channel, I started to film um, video clips on decorating um, Hampton style because I was so inspired by a video that I have watched on YouTube. It's decorating Hampton's style and Hampton's style basically incorporates um, blue and white like the colors of the sea and the sky and I just loved it. I was so inspired by it. So I started to um, sew and sew decors for my Hampton style decorating. So mainly I sewed up throw pillowcases of different um, colors and shades of blue and including also the Toile du Joy and a blue and white chinoiserie all in blue and white. So this video evolved from that inspiration of um, decorating Hampton's style and I have been taking videos um, for months on and off but now we are finally um, finalizing this um, decorating with blue and white chinoiserie in the Philippines because we are in the east and so near China and Japan so we get a lot of both um, antique and vintage porcelain blue and white porcelain and also new ones so this collection that I'm going to show you today is a mix of antique, vintage, and also a few new ones of this um, porcelain blue and white chinoiserie. And you will also be seeing the pillowcases that I have sewn for this video. But a lot of them, almost all of them, um, had been sold in the past months although I'm still accepting orders if um, some of you would like to have those uh, throw pillowcases from my Hampton style collection. I have always loved blue and white porcelain jars and vases and other decor and through the years I have been collecting not so profusely but here and there, I buy, um, especially from estate sales. And actually, most of the things that I'm going to feature in this video are from estate sales. This chinoiserie table depicts the pastoral, idyllic life in, I think, rural China. So mountains, yes. Look at that, and birds flying over mountains. Okay, I got this porcelain table um, months ago, maybe a year ago, and I was supposed to sell it on my online store, but my son begged me not to, because actually this is really a keeper. I wish I could show you the top. I will try to show you the top. So the top is also hand painted with um, elements from the east, a house, mountains and trees and the sky and the sea. There, there is a painting of the sea over there with boats, sailboats. So this is the porcelain table that I got, which we are already keeping. It's been with us for months and it's, it's porcelain, it's very heavy. So, in making blue and white chinoiserie vignette, for example, I use this um, round table to feature my vignette. All right, so I have here small trinket boxes, small vases like this, which I all got from a state sale. All right, so I have this. And I am all, I'm selling all of them on my online store. This one I also got from my state sale just recently because we hold, we hold the whole contents of the house 
the sala set, dining, display cabinet, buffet table. We hold all of them for um, restoration. And those are all Nara. And we also got two jars from that house, including this one. So it's quite thick and heavy. It's very vintage. Um, but these ones are newer ones. This is a temple jar. It is also very thick and heavy, it's personal, but these are newer ones, like this one. All right, and this also is a vintage. This, this um, like a cake tray or fruit tray. You can put fruits here, desserts, or even candles, but I put this chinoiserie balls. Okay, it's also good to put them in pure white, pure white basket or um bowl oval bowl i was supposed to do that but i forgot so these are newer ones um porcelain bowls and they are quite heavy this is a rectangular um platter which is also vintage and is stamped at the back look at the painting of peony flowers it's just so lovely, simple but lovely. We filmed this months ago in our balcony after a heavy downpour. I had envisioned a bright, sunny Saturday afternoon of filming outside, the sun shining on the balcony and making the decor stand out. But even before we could set up, the rains came. When it finally let up, we hurried to do our setup me taking pains in producing that effect of a bright and sunny outside but look at the skies it was definitely threatening and the sun didn't come out the whole time we were filming in this setup i want to show that you can definitely use your blue and white chinoiserie collection like the temple jars ginger jars and big pots and vases the pieces blend well with natural or synthetic woven furniture like this rattan patio set these are throw pillowcases that i sewed from virgin fabric I used different kinds of materials for the throw pillowcases, like this embroidered brocade. The blue and white jar is embroidered with blue and white and gold threads. These pillows are sold out. I also used rayon tall du joy fabric. By the way, I have a new design of this, which I also will be making into pillows. And I also used premium woven and sear sucker fabrics. These are all comfortable fabrics that look good for the patio. This is an elegant Victorian brocade in blue and white with beautiful roses. I plan to make beddings using this fabric. We brought the pillows in and created an interior atmosphere of blue and white. The pillows in varying shades of blue blend well together and look good whether inside or outside. A crystal decanter set is featured on our sideboard, a photo shoot I made for my online store. Blue and white decor always looks good with crystal. But the usual setup of our sideboard or buffet table with mirror is this blue and white vignette 
which I put together to feature my blue and white collection. The ginger jar on the right is vintage and I've had it for quite some time. I love it because it features peonies and birds. The vase next to it is an Arita vase and it's been in my collection for years. I've sold a lot of blue and white porcelain through the years, but this one I've always retained. This deco plate my husband brought from Japan in one of his business trips many years ago. He bought it in a suburb in the historical city of Yokohama. This vintage squash jar came with a recent haul of Nara furniture from a state sale. And the ginger jar beside it comes with a pair and is displayed on the porcelain chinoiserie table. I have watched videos on YouTube where interior designers use foliage cut from trees or bushes in the garden. I did that here. Since our house is surrounded with mountains and trees, I had my assistant cut me up a few branches of this wild plant that I saw from the window. Wild vines are entangled around the branches and I thought that looks very natural and interesting, so I didn't remove them. Again, Everything on this console table is for sale. The 18 inch high vase with handles, the tall vase, large temple jar, the round vase, and the decorative teapots. Our bookshelf is so full of books. Actually, um, this is not all of it, but still we were able to put in a few blue and white elements there. So one way of decorating your bookshelf is by incorporating some blue and white chinoiserie vases or ginger jars or just small knickknacks to create an interesting look. And this French Aubusson rug in blues and blue greens and some natural colors like gold, beige and cream complements well the decor of this bookshelf. Still, our walls are so empty, but I have plans for that wall. And so I'm going to give you an update of our upstairs. So I have the, uh, here three pieces for, my, for the case of my throw pillow. And this is the front, this is the back, and for the back there are Two pieces I have already um, explained this process in a previous video all right so we are going to sew here hem this for the opening and then the other one as well hem it like that where they will meet so I already did that with the first one because 
I am making two for to complete a blue and white bedding set. Okay, so I already sewed this. Look. This is the wrong side and this is the right side. So, um, as you can see, I'm using here an eyelet fabric, cotton eyelet fabric, and I really thought it wouldn't work, but um, fortunately, it's behaving so well. This fabric is behaving so well. So, we'll continue. So, these are the pieces that I have pinned together. Okay, this is the front and this is the back. So this is the overlap. So inside, I have already pinned the ruffles. I pinned it inside all, all around. Now, this is the finished product because I have, I am making two. So when when I turn this over, this will be what it will look like. The ruffles, this is the front, and this is the back. And that is the opening there. This is a Laura Ashley bedding set, and I just love it because it is blue and white, but it's not for sale. So I set up our bed to feature blue and white in the bedroom. And those are the white corded lace throw pillowcases that I sewed with ruffles. I thought that they would be difficult to, to sew, but no, they are cotton light corded lace. It's not too heavy. So, I am going to offer more of this um, fabric in throw pillowcases and also bolster pillowcases. That would be lovely. Bolster pillowcases with ruffles in pure white combined with Victorian or cottage florals of beddings. That would be lovely. And it's also interesting to put a bed runner. I have seen bedding sets with, with bed runner like this, or maybe you can use a throw instead. It makes an interesting um, bedding arrangement. And that one, that lampshade on that table is an antique lampshade. It depicts uh, blue and white chinoiserie with trees and birds. I think that's hand painted and that's for sale. This corded lace throw pillowcases with ruffles will be available on my online store Zoe Home. And I think that I'm also going to make um, bed pillows of the same design and bolster pillows to match with the florals. Blue and white is a classic. It never goes out of style. And this um, theme is easily absorbed or incorporated in any kind of decor. It is just so classy and elegant. 
um, and it goes with any style of decor in any room of the house. You can start collecting your own blue and white chinoiserie and you can start or try shopping at my online store, Zoe Home Inspired Living. I have so many things to offer there for your collection. I hope that you will visit my online store, Zoe Home. I'm going to put the link down below and I hope that you will enjoy your visit there as well. And I thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching and see you on next video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit that notification bell to never miss a post. And I thank you uh, to all those who have already subscribed and also leave their um, lovely comments for me. Thank you all so much. Um, you make my um, YouTube being more um, meaningful and fulfilling. Thank you so much. Bye for now. God bless.